Welcome to Sports Guy Talking. I am Dustin Tran, your host, as I am joined by guest RJ Rennie today to debate about who should win the NFL MVP award between Patrick Mahomes and Jalen Hurts. Both of these quarterbacks have taken their respective teams to the Super Bowl this season, and more importantly, they have been fantastic for their teams at the quarterback position. Patrick Mahomes is hoping to win his second NFL MVP award, while Jalen Hurts is hoping to win his first NFL MVP award. Before I say anything else though, I want to present you guys with a topic question. So here it is, who should win the 2022 MVP award, Mahomes or Hurts? All right, so obviously we'll find that out tonight. We'll find out who the MVP actually is based on how the league votes. But in our discussion here today, I think it really comes down to how you define what the MVP means. I mean, it stands for most valuable player. And here you have a guy that is most valuable to the NFL as an organization. And on the other hand, you have a guy that's most valuable to his team. And the latter, I'm saying the most valuable to his team is, in fact, Jalen Hurts. And that was very obvious whenever he came out the last two games of the year. I mean, this guy had 22 touchdown passes to only six interceptions, had over 3,700 yards, averaged eight yards of completion, and completed 66% of his passes. But rushing is really where he made his damage. Had almost 800 rushing yards and 13 rushing touchdowns on the year. But most importantly, he only lost one game as a starter this season. Philadelphia lost three games in total. That was after he injured his shoulder and Gardner Minshew came in on the road against Dallas and at home against New Orleans. And they weren't able to pull out wins in both of those games. Hurts came back in the last two weeks of the season, grinded out two wins for his squad, and then had that dominant win in, over San Francisco. So if you want to talk about who's most important to this team, look at the guy who came out for two games and is team lost and was on the brink of losing the number one seed until Iron Man Jalen Hurts came back and led his team to the best record in the NFL. I mean, look, Jalen Hurts, he's a fantastic football player. Don't get me wrong. Both of these quarterbacks have been fantastic for their respective teams. Obviously, if Jalen Hurts doesn't get hurt, the Eagles probably finish with a 16-1 record or with a 15-2 record, whatever the case may be. And Jalen Hurts, he's been fantastic, like you said. It's sometimes you got to look more than just the numbers when you're looking at MVP comparisons. You have to look at the impact. You have to look at the leadership. But with all that being said, I'm going to have to disagree with you. I'm going to go ahead and pick Patrick Mahomes to win the NFL MVP award. You know why I say that? Because look at who Patrick Mahomes is throwing the ball to. I mean, look, I know he has Travis Kelsey, but outside of Travis Kelsey, he doesn't really have a true star receiver to throw the ball to. And not just that, Patrick Mahomes, he threw for over 5,000 yards, throwing to guys that most people would not even take as their number one wide receiver. And the fact that he's taking the Kansas City Chiefs to the Super Bowl, who would have thought that before the season start? Almost nobody picked the Kansas City Chiefs to go to the Super Bowl. And yes, I know that almost nobody picked the Philadelphia Eagles to go to the Super Bowl as well. But when you look at this Kansas City Chiefs team, they really don't deserve to be in the Super Bowl when you look at their roster because they are really top heavy. And Patrick Mahomes, he did nothing but be fantastic for them. He led the NFL in passing yards. He led the NFL in passing touchdowns. And he did it with that supporting cast. And he also led the Chiefs to a 14-3 record. So when you look at it from that perspective, I have to give it to Patrick Mahomes. Also, there's another thing too. It's called durability. Patrick Mahomes didn't miss any time due to injury this year. Jalen Hurts, as great as he's been, he's missed two games due to injury. And when's the last time an NFL MVP missed time due to injury that ended up winning the award? I can't really recall. So when you look at it from that perspective, Patrick Mahomes has to win the NFL MVP award. He's the best quarterback in the National Football League. Well, if you're talking about the weapons that you have, I mean, why don't we just go ahead and go back to my area of expertise and look at the last two MVP award winners, those both being the same guy in Aaron Rodgers. You want to talk about a top heavy roster for the past two years. That has been what the Green Bay Packers have had when Aaron Rodgers has won those MVP awards. And if you're going to compare that to the Eagles also having weapons, I don't think that should diminish from what Jalen has done because Jalen can dictate his team in both their running and their passing attacks. And obviously you want to talk about those intangibles that x factor and obviously patrick has that we all know it's very difficult to find somebody that plays the game exactly like him but also like you said they're one of the primary reasons the chiefs are in the position they are right now is because they got a lot of help from the zebras against the Bengals. and maybe not a lot of people had them in the super bowl but i guarantee you a lot of people had them in their nfc champion or the afc championship picks but they thought they were going to be going up against buffalo on the flip side hardly anybody had the eagles in the position that they are in now with the exception of the man sitting across the screen from me you picked it from the get-go and i've already shouted you out for that but not 
lot of people had the Eagles in this position right now were being as dominant as they were for the entire season. And the step up that Jalen Hurts has taken from year two to year three under coach Nick Sirianni has been unprecedented. And we saw it from week one when he had that game against the Lions and just they started with 11 and 0 record before eventually falling to Washington. And that entire time we were all just looking at this Eagles team going, how can they be stopped? Well, first of all, you have to figure out how to stop Jalen Hurts because he can stop. He can beat you with his arm. He can beat you with his legs. And he's got the intangibles of knowing when to run, when to pass. And also, he's pretty accurate with the football. And he's got the weapons to make it to help his accuracy out. He doesn't have any shortage of weapons on the outside, as you mentioned. But it also takes a special kind of quarterback to get it to him and make the plays that Hurts has made all season. Yeah, and I get what you're saying. I'm not trying to take away anything from Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts is a fantastic quarterback. In fact, I've always said that Jalen Hurts was going to end up being a really good quarterback in the NFL, even when a lot of people were doubting him. But when you look at this Eagles team and you look at the supporting cast, the supporting cast of the Eagles versus the Kansas City Chiefs, the Eagles just are so much more advantaged in that department. And yes, I understand that they're 0-2 without Jalen Hurts, but you look at the Kansas City Chiefs, do they have an elite defense? No. Do they have elite wide receivers to throw the ball to? No. Well, I will say the Chiefs do have an elite front seven. I don't know if it's as good as the Eagles, but we saw what Chandler Jones could do. They're pretty Sorry, good. Chris they're Jones pretty, could do. They're pretty yeah. good, but they're not elite. Not on the Philadelphia Eagles level. And outside of Travis Kelsey, the Kansas City Chiefs just simply don't have a lot of elite players at their positions. It's Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, and then a bunch of role players for the Kansas City Chiefs. It's not like that for the Philadelphia Eagles. When you look at the Philadelphia Eagles, offensively, we know what they can do. Best offensive line in all of football. They got elite rushing attack. They got good receivers all over the place. A.J. Brown, Devonta Smith. And then the defense, they're very elite at what they do. They can stop the run. They can stop the pass. The Eagles are just significantly better than the Kansas City Chiefs overall as a team. So that's why I got to go with Patrick Mahomes over Jalen Hurts. Now, if Jalen Hurts had won like maybe like 15, 16 of those games, or maybe he went undefeated, maybe if he lasted the whole year, maybe I would pick him to win the MVP award. But he did miss time due to action. Patrick Mahomes didn't. And Patrick Mahomes led that Kansas City Chiefs team to a 14-win team and making the Super Bowl, which to me screams pretty impressive in my opinion. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead with Patrick Mahomes as my MVP pick. You're going to go ahead and go with Jalen Hurts. We'll find that out tonight, whether that's going to be the case or not. So let me go ahead and wrap up this question for you. All right, so who do you got winning the Super Bowl and who's going to win Super Bowl MVP? Tell us what's going to happen. Well, I'm going to say it's a double whammy for the Philadelphia Eagles. Let's go tonight with Jalen taking away the MVP, following in the steps of the two-time MVP winner, Aaron Rodgers, being the most important guy on the most important team. Just being that guy. You can't explain exactly what he's got, but you know he's got it, and you know his team feeds off of it. That's what Jalen has. That's what Jalen's going to bring tonight when he wins that MVP award. And then on Sunday, guess what? He's doing it again. Eagles are the better team. Chiefs limped into the Super Bowl. They really narrowly escaped Cincinnati with a lot of help from the Zebras, as I already mentioned. And this Eagles team, they pummeled the red-hot 49ers. Granted, they took out one of their quarterbacks, but they pummeled the red-hot San Francisco 49ers and even made a baby out of that stout 49ers defense. Without a doubt, I'm going to go 31-14 Philadelphia, Super Bowl 57. Oh, okay. You're going to go ahead and go in that route. Interesting, because I just want to note to you that no MVP has won the Super Bowl in the same year since 1999. That being said, I'm not going to go ahead and make my Super Bowl pick. I'm going to go ahead and make that tomorrow. What I will say is this. The whoever's going to get more pressure on Patrick Mahomes or Jalen Hurts, they're going to end up being victorious in this game. Look, both of these quarterbacks are fantastic at what they do. But as far as concern, when you look at the offensive lines, it's not really comparable. The Chiefs O-line is good. But trust me, the Philadelphia Eagles O-line is elite. And then when you look at the defensive line, the Eagles, they got the best D-line in all of football. The Kansas City Chiefs D-line, they're pretty good, but they're not elite. So whoever gets more pressure on these quarterbacks, that's going to cause matchup problems all over the place. So when you look at it from that perspective, it'll be telling who ends up winning the Super Bowl. But yeah, like I said, you're going to go Jalen Hurts MVP. I'm going to go Patrick Mahomes MVP. All right, well, thanks for being on the show, RJ. Appreciate you coming on here. All right, make sure you follow his Instagram at LilBigMan55. All right, I'll put that in the description box below. I'll give you all the link to his Instagram. All right, thanks for being on the show, man. Appreciate the time, Dustin. Always a pleasure. Oh, yeah, definitely. See ya, bro. Yup. Bye.
that was RJ Rennie that you guys just heard. All right, so he's going to go ahead and pick Jalen Hurts to win the NFL MVP award. He's also going to go ahead and double down and say that the Philadelphia Eagles will end up winning the Super Bowl by the score of 31 to 14 with Jalen Hurts winning Super Bowl MVP. Meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and pick Patrick Mahomes to win the NFL MVP award. You look at what Mahomes has done. It's been absolutely fantastic. And to see what he's done with that roster, it's been beyond impressive. Don't get me wrong, what Jalen Hurts has done has been pretty good, but the Eagles roster is much better than the Chiefs roster. So when you look at it from that perspective, Patrick Mahomes, he has to be the NFL MVP pick for me. So that's what I'm going to roll with. So that is why Patrick Mahomes should win the 2022 MVP award over Jalen Hurts. Remember, go ahead and subscribe to Sports Guy Talking. Like the video and please comment down below. If you guys do that, I may shout you guys out in my Instagram story every Monday. That'll be for the at Dustin S. Tran Instagram account. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Dustin S. Tran and at Sports Guy Talking. Also, go follow me on Twitter at Dustin S. Tran. Again, go ahead and do those things that I just told you guys to go do. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content that was just produced. Peace out. I hope you enjoyed that video. Want more Sports Guy Talking, the home of great sports content? Make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video. Comment down below. Check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.